Have you ever wondered what the differences are between butterflies and moths? They both comprise a group of insects called Lepidoptera. Lepido means scaly, and Terra means wing. So they're literally named the scaly winged insects. If you were to draw a family tree of every scaly winged insect in the world, one branch would include all of the butterflies, while the rest of the tree would include moths. If we look closely, it's easy to see how they got the name Lepidoptera. The wings of both moths and butterflies are covered with colorful tiny scales. It's the arrangement of these scales that gives them their elaborate patterns. Both butterflies and moths go through four basic life stages, egg, larva or caterpillar, pupa, and adult. When they reach the pupa stage, they deal with it in different ways. Butterfly caterpillars become chrysalises. The pupa's body is hard to help protect it from predators, but the caterpillar doesn't make any additional covering. Moth caterpillars, on the other hand, create a covering known as a cocoon out of silk that then surrounds the pupa for additional protection. Can you see the differences between them? Let's take a closer look at their bodies. In addition to four scaly wings, moths and butterflies have six legs and two large compound eyes. Most butterflies and moths have a long, straw-like mouth part called a proboscis, but some moths don't have mouth parts at all. The moths in the royal silk moth family, like the atlas moth, actually do all of their eating as caterpillars, and then live off of those nutrients through their short adult life. All insects have a pair of antennae attached to their heads. They're sensory organs that help the insects observe their surroundings. Insects can use their antennae to smell, taste, touch, and sense vibrations. They come in all shapes and sizes depending on the kind of insect. Antennae are actually the best way to tell butterflies and moths apart. Almost all butterflies have what are called clubbed antennae. Their antennae are long and thin, and then thicken into a club shape towards the end. Moths, meanwhile, have many different kinds of antennae. They can be thick, thin, or even feathery, but they're never clubbed. There are always exceptions to the rule, but there are a couple of other clues you can use to help tell moths and butterflies apart. Moths are primarily nocturnal, which means they're active at night. Butterflies are primarily diurnal, which means they're active during the day. While at rest, butterflies often close and hold their wings above their bodies. Moths, on the other hand, often open and allow their wings to cover their bodies. The next time you walk through the park, your backyard, or the Judy Stock Butterfly Haven, test your identification skills and see if you can tell the difference between these beautiful high-flying insects. <laughs>